today I'm going to be organizing and doing a complete makeover of my laundry room. I'm doing a laundry room makeover. Mm. What are we doing I'm, with the laundry room makeover? I'm organizing the laundry room. Just like every other room in our house right now. I'm going to be taking everything out and completely redoing the space. It is a huge mess, honestly. We recently just got a new washer, so I have been into staying on top of the laundry and washing almost everything in the house daily, and I absolutely love it, but I feel like now that I'm in here so often, I need to redo the whole space. So I thought that I would pull off the camera and do a video for you guys. That way, if you're looking to organize your own laundry room or kind of give it a little bit of a makeover, maybe this will give you some ideas or some tips that you can also do in yours at home. This is a very small space. I am like kind of pressed for ways that I can put the camera in here and also the lighting is terrible. And if you follow me on Instagram, I will also post a final picture there. If you're not following me already, make sure that you do so. I will leave that right here. And I will also show you some things that I picked up yesterday from Target and Marshalls. And I'm sorry if I'm a little bit out of breath. I am almost 30 weeks pregnant and I am out of breath all the time. Anytime I try to talk for long periods of time, I'm just so winded. So I apologize in advance for that, but let's go ahead and get started on organizing the laundry room. So this is the new washer that we ended up going with. This is the Whirlpool Cabrillo. It is a 5.3 cubic, I don't know if it's cubic feet. Um, and that's referring to the drum inside. So it holds a lot of clothes. I'm not sure how much bigger they go than 5.3, but it is definitely bigger than the one that we had. And I need to wash these clothes, but I figured I would turn it on after I finished this video because I didn't want it to be too loud while I was trying to talk. But I absolutely love this thing. It's so strange to me to be so in love with the washer, but I just feel like it does such a good job. And ever since we got it, I have been totally into doing the laundry. So as you can see back here, we can't do too much with all of this, which is a really big eyesore. Um, our washer just doesn't come up high enough to hide it. And then all that this laundry room had when we moved in was this shelf up here. It just had that, so I actually added this shelf. So all I did was go to Home Depot, purchase a piece of wood, and I measured this space beforehand, and I had them cut it down. My mom and I stained it. I can't remember which stain that we used. If I remember, I will link it below. Um, it's just something that I picked up from um, Home Depot while I was there, and then I also picked up these uh, brackets at Home Depot also. Um, these are like the cheapest ones that they had. We just um, screwed them into the wall and then screwed them into the board and that is it so if you need more space if you're looking for more space in your laundry room this is a really good way to add some space um and super cheap way i mean the board costs like ten dollars or something so we can't put anything over this because we have top loaders not front loaders i see a lot of people do like the board that goes over which looks really really nice but we obviously can't do that so everything just kind of stacks up over here on top of the washer or the dryer. And then I've got this, these little 10 signs were from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take those down. I think I probably will. And then everything up here is just kind of thrown up there, um, especially all these baskets. This is just a mess. As you can see, I got a new thing for my detergent because this one is so slow. This thing is so old. Um, and I like the look of putting your detergent in here and it looks like it leaked a little bit too. But this is just, it barely comes out. And so I stand here for what feels like an hour waiting for my cup of laundry detergent to fill up.
to do is put this laundry detergent from this one into here um, and hopefully this one has a little bit better of a spout um, because this other one was so old nothing was coming out of it. this and I forgot what these hanging planters are called but I actually have one in the nursery and I love the way that it looks so I got one for the laundry room I thought it needed a little bit of color a little bit of greenery and this one was like $16.99 at Marshall's so what I'm gonna do is hang this up in this corner of the laundry room over here that way when you first walk in the laundry room there's a little bit of pop of color not too much um, but just enough. As you probably can tell, I really like displaying things in pretty jars. I like displaying them in jars other than what they came in. I have this container. I found this, or this bottle, I guess, at Tuesday morning for $2.99. And hopefully these will fit in there just fine. I think they might be a little bit of a challenge to pour in here. But I thought it would just look a lot prettier in the laundry room and I'm more likely to go into my laundry room if it's looking pretty and get some stuff done rather than if it's not. So I'm going to put these in here. I don't have a whole lot of them left but these are my favorite. These are the Snuggle Plus Scent Shakes. This is the original. I really like the way that these smell. I'm trying not to get them everywhere. I need a funnel. So this is the piece that I picked up at Marshall's. Um, I believe it was like $12.99. And I'm always looking for more space in my laundry room to be able to hang things. Usually once I fold them, I immediately, or once they come out of the dryer, I either fold them if they go in a drawer, or I will hang them up if they go in the closet. Um, sometimes I will hang things to dry, and I just need more space. I do have this long bar across here, but sometimes if they're long pieces, they kind of get in the way here. So I thought this would be a good idea. Um, I also thought maybe I could hang like my purse on here. I don't know, maybe a pool bag, but just make more use of the space rather than just have like the the letters up there. things that I picked up while I was at Marshall's. This is a box of three baskets, which was such a good deal because I think the three ended up being $12.99, which is so good. If you go to buy these baskets at Target, they're quite a bit more expensive, so I would definitely recommend hitting up a place like Marshall's, TJ Maxx, or Home Goods for cute baskets like these. And then I also picked up this. I thought it was just really pretty. This is a fine linen spray and it smells like lavender. I thought that once I pulled the sheets, um, my husband and I sheets out of the dryer, this would be really nice to spray on them or pillowcases, um, stuff like that. I just really liked the way that it smelt and the bottle was actually very pretty. So I thought that this would look really pretty sitting in the laundry room. Um, and I believe it was like $3.99, it was $4.99. Do this, do that, grow up, be nice and behave But I've never wanted to be like them Monday to Friday, that's just nothing for me We are 
on accident I was trying to figure out how to hang up things like my broom and my Swiffer and I came across these command hooks and they just stick to the wall they're damage free as all command hooks are I'm gonna put these behind my door my um, laundry room door right here just because I think that it will fit back there and you can't see them and yeah I figured it was a good way to kind of hide them but still have them in the laundry room and organized. Alright. That's awesome. I love that. Okay let me shut the door and see how it works. Yay! Completely hidden back there. This is life changing. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the laundry room all complete. I am so in love with the way that it came out. Um, everything just feels so organized, so clean, and so pretty. Um, and I'm just going to go through and tell you guys where everything is from. I decided to hang this planter over here instead of over here. Sorry about the lighting. It just gets really dark when I go in front of the window. But I like it better here just because over here I didn't want it to take up too much space. I wasn't sure what was going to be over here. I think it would have been fine, but I do like how it brings this corner a little bit of something. This sign up here is from Kirkland's. These baskets are from Marshall's, as I said earlier. And then I had these two baskets, and I'm pretty sure they're from Home Goods, but I can't remember. And I have just cleaning supplies in each one. I've got like mop refills and stuff like that, and then a couple extra cleaning things, and also my drill. And then this sign is from Hobby Lobby. This is from Ikea. This whole thing is from Ikea. And then these are the jars that I talked about from Target. So I went and got another one because I wanted my softener to go in one. So I have detergent and softener. Um, I put these towels underneath them because I wasn't sure if they were going to leak. Um, around this part, it's not this part that I'm worried about. It's not, nothing is coming out of here. It's just around here. And if they do, it's not really that big of a deal as long as it's not just like pouring out. Um, but these are the baskets from Marshalls as well. And then this um, pretty little plant is from Home Goods. This basket actually was given to me by my grandma. And then um, this is just our pool bag. This is a petunia pickle bottom diaper bag that I've had since I was pregnant with Carter. So that's a really long time. Um, but I really like it, um, especially for the pool. Not necessarily for a diaper bag. I like backpack diaper bags. But anyways, that's a whole nother video. This is from Marshalls and this sign is from Hobby Lobby. So this rug that I'm standing on here is from Home Goods. It's a really pretty rug. It was really inexpensive. Super easy to wash and dry. I just throw it in the washer um, every once in a while. It's already been washed twice. And then this cute little laundry basket, it's from Marshalls and it's on wheels. So what I do is I'll usually take my laundry out of here, out of the dryer. If I have something that needs to move from the washer to the dryer, I'll take it out of here, throw it in there, and then fold it from here. Um, or I will um, take it to the living room and fold, but I don't usually put dirty clothes in here. Everybody else has a hamper in their room. Um, so we don't need dirty clothes in here, just the clean clothes that come from here to here. And then this can unsnap and you can wash it. And I think this was like $25. So check your local Marshalls if you guys want one of these laundry baskets. I just think that they're so cute. And then last but not least were the um, handy command hooks back here behind the door. 
I love these. I need one more, but they only sell two to a pack, so I either need to buy another pack or that's just a little um, Swiffer handle but to get that up off the floor. But these are just so handy. I love those. My husband was so impressed with those. All right, guys, so that is it for my laundry room makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you a little bit of motivation to organize and make the space look pretty in your laundry room. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to help. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.